Today we start a journey, a journey to become the richest player in my Minecraft server. By buying, selling, and starting my own businesses on my server, this series is going to take you through my process of going from absolutely nothing to the richest around. So guys, this is it. We're starting on a brand new fresh character, and this is all my land here on my survival server. And I haven't done this in a long time. So first things first, I only got $2,000. And the guy in first place right now has $59 million on this server. So that's a pretty big price tag. My goal here is to officially become the richest person on the server. No cheating, no, no using my name to get money. I'm going to earn it. But not only am I doing this to make money, I'm also living next to Isaac and Ben who are doing their own series and competing with me to see which one of us can make the most money. All right, well, I've got some land claimed and since we're starting out fresh, we need to start a base, a base that we will eventually be flipping and selling for profit. I feel like this is the prime spot. You got a view of the ocean. Do I own this land? Yes, sir. I own all this land right next to it. So this is a juicy spot. Let's get started. The first tool, guys. One small step for man. One giant leap for making millions of dollars. And that's what we're about to do today. I mean, it's not exactly the starter base of a million, future millionaire. So I, I've been thinking about how to make a lot of money and I still don't exactly have an idea yet. But what I do have is a furnace in my wall now. So that's it. Oh, I, almost. That's going to be a big upgrade for us, huh? Yeah, let's check out the shop here, guys. This is where we're going to make our early money, I feel like. Okay, so our sanders were $17. Uh, that 17 bucks. That ain't going to make us a millionaire, is it? Guys, look at that. We got torches in our base. We're about to get our first door. We are becoming a real civilized, civilized society down here. Um, and there it is. Fully functional base. This is the beginning of a great journey, my friends. Now, I think we just need to get a little bit of an expansion in here. And then we can start... Oh, we already got 11 bucks. Then we can start making some cash. Nice, that little accent wall right there pulls it together. We're becoming richer by the second. Okay, so I'm looking at prices on the shop. We're going to start off using the in-game shop to make money. It seems like wheat right now is the best way to make money. So I can buy a bunch of wheat seeds. Oh, geez, that's expensive. 6,800. That's it, guys. I literally bought 18 seeds. That's all I can do is buy 18 seeds. We're down to 95 bucks right now, but we got our seeds. And hopefully this is the beginning of the profit. Let's go ahead and do it right here. Guys, this is where it starts right here. This is where all the beauty and magic takes place. We're going to be flipping some houses real soon. But first, let's get started on our own little, our own little business here. Well, guys, that's a, that's a great first day right there. We got some crops planted. That's going to be producing some big profits for you, boy. Uh, but it's not going to be producing the big profits we need yet. We need, uh, we need to sell some bases. All right, guys, so the, the base is coming together. It's looking beautiful. This will be the hub of all of our future transactions and processes when we begin to sell fully fleshed bases. Obviously, we're not to that point yet. We are still in the early stages of development for this business. I'm going to call it Lover Industries. So this is this is where people will be entering our, our store to buy stuff from us. Like, but I, I really need to get like some basic tools. Like I need to freaking strip mine to start, which is not what rich people do. But unfortunately, that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to get that mine started. I don't, I don't really like where this mine is, by the way. It's such a bad location. Like, future customers are gonna walk in my store, try to make me money. They're gonna be like, oh, why is there a mine? Like, poor, like a poor player has a mine. A rich one has people mine for him or just buys the stuff, you know? Dang, that feeling when I found my first bit of iron, though, is gonna be off the charts. I don't know what it's worth either. Oh, snap, your boy just found some iron. I said, I said, hey, I want some iron. There it is. Now, what I need to do, I'm thinking, guys, and bear with me. All right, I want you to walk through this with me. A straight down mine. Like, this is not that efficient, you know? If I just go straight down, is there a risk I die? Yes. All right, sure, that's a risk, but it might be a little more efficient, like a little ladder setup, a little, little straight down and you're good to go. I think that might be the move. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Iron Age. There is one thing I can do, guys, and that is use a daily key. This is an item you get just for playing on the server. All these players are doing it too. You just get something random, like for playing here. So let's see if we get something to help us out. $2,500, baby. Let's go. We're going to be using that as we can throughout this series, but that's pretty good. All players have access to it once a day. I ain't, I ain't about this hop-up life. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to walk up. We're trying to live in luxury out here. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So guys, I just TP'd to this player because he wants to do a casino. So I'm going to actually gamble all my money here and see if I can win some cash. Pay how much you want, and that's how much I'll win back. So if he puts the bone meal and I get three flowers, I get a times four back. So I just paid him $2,000. And uh, if I win, if I... Oh, I got nothing. I just lost all my money. Dang it. <laughs> all right, well, hey, that's uh, one way to show you guys don't gamble, all right? That, I just lost all my money. A new plan. This mine is taking too long. I ain't got the patience for that type of thing. So I'm going to do something crazy. All right. I just want you to bear with me. I need a lot of wood for that. So let me go cut down every tree in this forest.
54 ladders. I mean, that's not a that's not a bad count right there, folks. Uh, I'm gonna make a secondary mine here. This will be like our tent mine, just because like I'll finish this at some point, but that's gonna be a journey. All right, I ain't about that. So let's just dig straight down. <laughs> this is what like you do when you're legit mining in real life. Like it's just a little mine shaft. Am I gonna die? Maybe. Look at that, guys. That's why it pays off. Within five seconds, I find more. Oh, the, the biggest freaking iron spawn on the planet. So we just unlocked Super Breaker, which means I get a pickaxe bonus. This is just from how long I mined. It lets me break quick for a second. So that's what I needed, baby. There we go. Now we're cooking with some peanut. Oh, what the? Yo, yo, we just found an entire underwater water cave. This seems like a great spot for my future farm. Oh, we got to Y equals 13 almost perfectly. So like, obviously we'd go a little bit lower, but uh, this is a good starting spot. Okay, so Super Breaker ability is a thing that we have that's special on our server that like gives you special bonuses as you play and level up. So we got to use this to its full extent when it's here and just mine the crap out of this world and not even like hold back. I mean, just go. All right, well, that sucks. That's a waste. Okay, good. Nothing. Oh, boys, we almost got our first crops. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, we got an auction house on the server where you can buy and sell items with players. All right, it's a pretty cool feature. I want to just scrounge for a deal for a second. Just see. I need deals. Someone's selling mushroom stew for 200 bucks. I mean, this is just ridiculous. A $100,000 puffer fish. It's called. Why would. 100, they named it the true puffer fish of glory. I mean, this guy's, a, this guy's a natural born marketer. Hey, $12 for 11 wheat seeds. That's actually a legit deal. I know how expensive those are. I'm going to take it. Yeah, yo, that's freaking fire. 11 more freaking seeds, baby. This is a big investment, guys. When this sells, we're talking four to five hundred bucks cash. I'm talking cold, hard cash in my hands. Dang, I feel like we're balling out right now. Two furnaces, one thousand dollars in the bank. I'm about, I'm about to go gamble it. Yo, I, should, I probably should do that again, should I? It's probably not a good idea. Oh, guys, guys, I just thought of a funny joke. Ready? That's adorable because it's adorable. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. You get jokes like that all day, baby. We got the shaft. That's how I'm gonna call this. The shaft. Guys, I just found something else interesting. Saplings are worth a good amount of money. But for now, we gotta freaking mine this bad boy. I mean. Wait, 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 wait. I hear lava. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. It's gotta be below me. I think it can't spawn. I, oh, my ears are saying it might be this way. Okay, now I don't hear it. No, it's definitely this way. That sounds like it's this way. It's, oh, it's this way, it's this way. I mean, it is a nice treat to get some redstone, though, I'll be honest with you. Oh, guys, I think we just found our very first gold. I'm still trying to find this lava. I just felt like I've seen it a hundred times and I still can't find it. This is gonna break, isn't it? Right before I get my gold. That's it. That's just absolute crap, isn't it? Oh, uh, I need to set a mobile home to- I don't have anything. Dang. Out of wood. Guys, I think we just found a way to make some money. All right, I just, this guy said if you pay me 500 bucks, he's gonna give you a bunch of food. So I paid him 500 bucks. Now he's leading me inside of his chamber. Is a jail cell in here? Okay, so guys, he has a shop. He has a chest shop here. You can literally set up stores to sell things. So he's selling full stacks for $7 for a full stack. That seems like a deal, doesn't it? Dude, this is a legit deal. This guy's freaking get Oh, let's go, baby. I don't know, man. I'm gonna take as much as I can. All right, we are loaded on food. Now, I am broke now, but at least I'm loaded on food. Was it the best investment I've ever made? No. Oh, yo, our redstone dose was 241 bucks. That's not a bad deal. I'll take it. Oh, 495 for lapis. That's our biggest profit yet. Okay, okay, okay. So guys, after about 45 minutes, we've we've lost $1,200 so far, but we do have the beginnings of the multi-million dollar base. So that's what matters, the beginnings, all right? We're getting there. Okay, so we got three saplings. These are worth 72, baby. 72. <laughs> this base is really not making us the money we need to be making yet at this point, guys. All right, let's go back down in uh, the shaft and see what we can do inside. The shaft. I feel like my goal today is to make $100,000. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Arthur, that ain't possible. But I feel like now that we got this mine started, we got the workflow going, we can get that base foundation of money. Because we got gold now. That's probably worth some, some dank money. About to make some, some dank ball. Oh, I can use some coal. There it is. There it is. Suck inside of my body. Let me suck you up. Let me suck up your energy. Just suck up your nutrients. Yes. I'm almost 100% sure the lava is over here. Oh! I literally just manifested this diamond. I literally said in my mind, I am about to find diamond in the next block. Oh, <laughs> finally. This is a big fat stack too. Oh my gosh, they keep going. This is like the fattest stack you can get of diamonds. Like, is that six? Six diamonds from one of them? Dang, baby. What are they worth, by the way? I'm curious. $700. I'll sell the redstone. I really don't need that yet. Okay, now I need lava, like really bad, so I can get a freaking enchantment table, so I can maybe get efficiency on this bad boy, and then we're gonna be really cooking with some peanut oil. If I was lava, where would I be? Hey, is that lava? That was a torch. 
All right, I've destroyed my mind trying to find this single piece of lava. 45 minutes, and I still don't know where it is. We'll probably be at 3 to 5K by the time we make it back up. That's a good little start right there. Oh, more gold. Baby, look at this. Have we truly found the greatest mine of all time? The gold mine? Guys, we have finally found, uh, well, I think possibly a giant laser beam that could be trying to kill us. Oh, creeper. Is that, is that a creeper? Yo, okay. Well, we found a massive cave finally with some lava, but it does seem like it's incredibly dangerous to me. And I don't know if anyone's ever been here. So we might've just found potentially the gold mine where we can actually start making some big profits. I've been looking for one of these. Okay. I mean, it's pretty freaking empty at the moment, except that lava, which is screaming my name. Come to Papa. Let's go. Okay. Uh, a lot of nothing. A lot of... Where's my... Shouldn't there be, like, diamonds in here or something? I'm kind of looking for some big plays here. I mean, I, I, iron's old. Iron's, like, 20 minutes ago, you know? It's good, but there just comes a point where you want more. You want diamond. You want that big payday. I did a mining video, right? I did the best mining hacks. This is supposed to be the best way to find gear. All I see is iron. Oh, hey, whoa, hey. How much is this worth? I wonder. Wow, look at that profit. 515 for the redstone dust. Not bad. All right, guys, that was a long journey. Let's see what type of profit we pulled out today. I guess we got to smelt all this first. Ooh, that's not, ooh, iron ingots are not worth much money at all. That's not what I like to see. Our first taste of armor, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially kind of wealthy. All right, both of these smelters are going. Let's put all our junk in here. And I finally have lava, and I'm gonna be honest with you, literally the only reason I wanted lava was to finally make my own trash can, and like, seriously, that's it. That's the entire reason. That's it. Will it catch the house on fire? Let's find out. Oh, our farm might even be ready to harvest for our first payday there. And it, it's not quite there, but almost. 200 bucks. We're finally above $2,000. We're finally above 2K. Again, I want to remind you, the guy in first place has 69 million. Um, that's fair. Mm. Literally deforested an entire forest just to the hopes that I'll get a couple saplings because they're worth like 100 bucks each. I just need a little bit more money to start the investments rolling, folks. I'll tell you what, it'll start making some bank. Yeah, nine of them? Look at that. Oh, wait, what? Why do I feel like that was worth so much more earlier? Now it's worth nine. So guys, I just picked a plot in the absolute middle of nowhere. And uh, I'm going to build someone a base but to try to make some money. But first, I need to find a good location. Because location sells, guys. Location sells more than the base. And I think we need a little pond. I mean, look, you got some ponds here to work with, but like no one's gonna pay fat stacks to live next to that. I mean, that's a weak pond. Let's keep looking. Yeah. Guys, I think we finally found the new location of the, the uh, first base. It's gonna be a very basic base. I mean, we're, gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. We got $2,000 and all the resources we collected. It's like, it'll be tough to make money, but we're gonna try. Guys, this is a decent start to a decent looking base. The only question I have is I'm not going to have enough wood to make this as big as I want. Um, I've got one torch, so I'm going to have to just make do with that one singular torch right there. Uh, I just put that right there on the wall. We don't have much else. I think I'll just call it a noob starter home. What do you think? 10,000 10, for this? 10,000? The sad thing is I'm about to be selling a base better than mine. But don't worry, guys. We're starting Lover Industries, and it's going to become a full-on hub. You just got to gotta start small in your business, all right? I really don't think it needs to be that much bigger, you know? Okay, so I'm going for, like, this nice kind of clean, like, little double window vibe. You got to enjoy that view. I want people to walk in and be like, dang, this is the base for me. And I feel like, I feel like that kind of gets the message across. Like, hey, this is for you. Okay, so I don't know exactly what that is but it looks kind of cool, so I'm just gonna keep it. Finally, the place that worries me the most, putting a roof on this thing, um, because I don't know if I have enough wood for it. <laughs> I mean, I, I really just need a little bit more to plug it up, and I don't know if I can make this a feature or not, so I'm just gonna have to cobblestone it for now and say that it's art. All right, well, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's about as good as this one's gonna get. So um, that's the first base. I think it's probably worth between, I, I, I would do like 8K maybe. Let's see what we can do. So you guys, this is why I want to ask you, please drop a comment. People go crazy when I say I'm going to sell something. So do you want me to cover my name up so people don't know it's me? Please drop a comment. I want to know what you want to see in this series. All right, guys, we got our first uh, first person here taking a look at it. Georgia Burns, all right, taking a look at the old base, looking for 8K. We'll do 9K. I'm going to run up one, 9K. Guys, our first person has already said deal. All right, not that it's surprising, again, because of who we are at the moment. We probably will be going undercover throughout this series, I'm assuming. Guys, we got it. We got it. We sold it for $9,000. Now we just need to unclaim this bad boy. Okay, that was absolutely insane. Chad was popping off, guys, when there's 600 people trying to buy your base. It's just crazy. We're up to $11,000 now on this series, which is an insane amount of money to get some starting cash flow. Okay, now I just spent 
about a thousand. I know about a thousand dollars. I need to upgrade the state of my base because as I said, this will be the future location of Lover Industries and I'd like it to look a little bit more premium. And if you're gonna be premium, I feel like you need a three wide staircase to get on down in. Look at these people in chat, guys. They are literally offering their lives to get a hand on that base. Oh my gosh. Now that's a clean entrance, folks. That looks nice. All right, guys, so there's the final design of the preliminary entrance here to Lover Industries. Obviously got to get that door there. And then we're going to like kind of deck it out in luxury, but obviously it's not there yet. We went from zero to over $10,000, a fully functional base and plans for a mega future. If we get 10,000 likes on this video, the next time I'm going to sell a super base to one of you. Peace.